Hi, this is Introduction to Community Assessment Project. We will start by reviewing resources provided to you in Canvas. There is a grading rubric available, as well as links to Minnesota Assessment Wheel, video about windshield, and an example of Adams and York County Community Health Assessment Needs from 2018. You will start module one by emailing the name of your chosen community to your instructor. The community must be approved prior to you starting your assignment. During module two, you will submit the time set up for your windshield survey of chosen community, and then the instructor will send you the link to your individual Google Doc. During module three, you would submit the results of completed windshield survey and submit notes from two key informants interview and one paragraph overview for both interviews into your Google Docs. The faculty will provide you with feedback in Google Docs. This will count as five hours hands-on experience. During module four, you will submit any data deemed useful for assessing chosen community in your Google Docs. You will analyze the data and create a rubric of strengths and weaknesses of chosen community. Based on your findings, you will create two community nursing diagnoses. This will count as three hours of hands-on experience. During module five, you will be creating community nursing intervention. You will submit two potential community nursing interventions based on your strengths and weaknesses and two community nursing diagnoses provided in module four. This time will count as two hours of hands-on experience. Module six, you will be submitting your final presentation. The last two hours of the course hands-on experience will be counted by completing and submitting the community assessment voice thread presentation. Your presentation should not be longer than 20 minutes with minimum of six to eight slides and voiceover narration. During module seven, you will submit the sign-off of all hands-on experience hours into the course canvas under the assignments. Thank you. Please make sure to stay on the top of each module and what is supposed to be submitted in each module. Please don't hesitate to contact your instructor if you have any further questions. Thank you.